Drink this. Or drink that. Let's find out. It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Drink this or that. We got some weeders here. We do. 107 proof Weller Antique. Now, right. This is a liter. That's what we had, but doesn't matter. Doesn't affect Chad's the taste. Chad's like, oh, it's what we have. <laughs> <laughs> or a uh, Rebel. 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 It's just Rebel now. Rebel 100. Uh, 100 proof. Yeah. Um, Don't mind the yell. The yell's not there anymore. Yes, it's not. Um, it is on this bottle. Right. So I feel like some people are already going to be maybe a little cranky uh, that we would be even putting. Confused look. Weller antique against this. Well, see, here's the thing. Um, MSRP on this guy, and <laughs> some people are laughing MSRP. Right, with already mad about that too. Weller product. But that's what we uh, have to go on. Raised up to $50. Uh, is that for the liter or is that for the regular bottle? And that's for a 750. Just imagine this oh, is a 750. Okay. Um, and for this guy, we're looking at $20. So this is a, what do you call it? A, a David versus Goliath type of uh, situation here. Sure, both MSR, in price and um, MSRP wise. Infamy wise. Infamy wise, uh, proof wise, 107 versus 100. But what what if this one comes out? We don't know, we, we don't, don't know. know. So that's why we're here to, to do a drink this or that on it. In the Drink More Bourbon, Glen Karen's, we have the Rebel. In the classic logo, it's Bourbonite, Glen Cairns, we have the Weller. In this corner. <laughs> so we will trade. Oh, okay. So we poured these about 10 minutes ago and put our lenses on them. So Which we'll I really on. like these. Yeah, those are very... I know where you can get them. We'll tell you later. <laughs> we'll, tell you, we'll tell you later. Just hold on. So I guess we will start as one tends to do with proof. So we'll start with the Rebel 100. Mm. Nice and soft. Yeah, a little, little bit of nuttiness. A little nuttiness. I yeah. get the corn, I get, you know, the sweetness, um, a mm -hmm. little earthiness, but I like yeah. it. You know, we've talked about this one being kind of a blind surprise. It's sort of, um, it can really mess you up when you're thinking about proof, when you're thinking about mash bill, price, yeah. distillery, like it kind of tends to throw people for a loop. Stumps when we give, people. It's a stumper, so yeah. we'll have to see how it holds up. Yeah, it doesn't really come across as a weeder, does it? Well, I don't know. I think in uh, ways, in, in other in ways, it ways. doesn't. There is some sweetness, but I think it it almost drinks like higher proof than a hundred. Yeah, I think it reads a bit higher. Um, also, I I think that there's more balanced flavors than you know just that corn, that sweetness coming mm -hmm. through. There's some earthiness to it. Yeah, and I like that. And and there's a little, like I said, there's some heat, and it it almost makes you think spice mm -hmm. because of the heat with the proof that I think would throw people off and is what I think makes it a great value for 20 bucks. Yes. Like I would never be disappointed with this for 20 bucks. Honestly, I've seen this for $17.99 in places, $18. I think it's a great deal. For a 100 proof. Now, you know, non h stated neither of these are, are h stated though, uh, but for a 100 proof weeder, we should also say at the time of this recording, which is late 2021, this product is sourced uh, probably from Heaven Hill. Don't really know. Maybe. But so. it's not Lux Rose own juice. Ooh, this is uh, a label through Lux Row. So if you are watching this in the future years, uh, just know that what's in here may be different. Hi from past Chad and Sarah. Yeah, exactly. So this is sort of a... At the time of. In the now. But that's all we can really do. You Absolutely. Know? Things change. Things change. Know. All right. I think we should move on. Yes. To the Weller Antique 107. I do like that nose. That, yeah. It has that, huh. I, would, I always think of like the Buffalo Trace nose as having a little touch of grapiness. Yep, a little even their weeders. Of cinnamon, even the weeders, it mm -hmm. almost is like a raisin or something like that. It's very nice. It's a great nose and I feel like you can get a little bit more of the proof sort of on the nose too. It's smelling mm. a little bit more, you know. Like it's it's not giving me all the sweetness that, that right. the Rebel was giving. Little Melanie, though, a little like. Uh... Who's Melanie? <laughs> that's your joke. Yeah, that's my joke. <laughs> he didn't like it. Uh, I don't like it. Yeah, a little kind of melon. Got fruit, some fruit, some, some yeah. fruit notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mmm. See, now I feel like this drink's probably right on par with its proof. Yes. Not super hot. It is giving me maybe a little bit more complexity. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas I got more corn forward here. I think this has uh, a little bit more viscous mouthfeel, you know, mm. a little mm. a little creamier on the old mouthfeel. But, you know, are we talking, and this is the fun part, <laughs> are we talking worth a little more than double the price? Are we talking and that's, the, if and we're the talking, scarcity? If 
and that's what we're talking retail, right? Uh, because this can easily, some places they're asking two hundred dollars for it. So sure. we're not going to even figure in the secondary into this mm -mm. because it can vary so widely. And you know, we don't. So all we have to do is go life. off the MSRP twenty. 50. But I think the discussion here isn't necessarily going to be, is the Weller better than the Rebel? Because I think it probably should be it based should on be. how established this brand is, the price point, we are the looking... fact that it is sought after and acclaimed. But we're Screw talking top versus a cork. But not that doesn't change what's inside the bottle. I know, but we're talking if we're bringing perceptions into it. I guess all I'm saying is if I'm purchasing a Weller antique, I right. expect it at the price and just everything I know about this, I expect it to be better than this $20 Rebel. But the question is, how much better? And is it worth the chase? It's a lot of questions. It's a lot of questions. But Sarah, uh, 20, you know, 2018, mm -hmm. this wasn't $50. Uh, this should have been about 22 well, should, have been a, should have been about the same price as this. Get in your DeLorean and go back to then and buy more. <laughs> well, we I know. can't do that. My expectations in this matchup are not necessarily for... Built up because of the popularity. ...this to though. blow this out of the water. Right. If I'm paying more for it and it's harder to find, I have kind of an expectation that it, it should, on some level, be better. I'm not saying that's should. always the case. Yeah. I right. don't think I'm getting my point across well. You're getting your point across weller. That was a bad one. All right, we're gonna go back and hit the Rebel, but before we do that, we'll hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get hey, the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Uh, we have new hats. Uh, our, of course, our sets of Glen Cairns. We also have copitas, rocks glasses, water glasses, mm. challenge coins, mm. candles, uh, yeah, hoodies, sweatshirts, and more. Always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. And Chad, did you know that by the end of this year, we will have done 15 barrel picks? I, yes. Right? Isn't yeah, that crazy? that's crazy though. And our patrons get first access and sometimes, sometimes the only, only access, access to those barrel picks. Mm -hmm. And so we did, this is our first year doing them. Um, in large format, and yes. so we've done 15, and we're already working on our list for next year, next so that's year only gonna grow. More. And patrons sometimes get the opportunity to participate in the barrel picks with us, and they also get after the episode exclusives. There you go. So fun stuff. So while we go back to this Rebel, I do wanna ask you, I think some people out there might be asking, why didn't we do Weller Special Reserve to be closer in price? I think, you know, your mindset was Weeders, that this used to be closer in price and closer, also it's closer in proof. For me, it's proof. 90 proof versus 100, you I feel like that isn't would be a fair. fair right? Especially because this, this drinks high. This particular one at 100 that drinks honestly sometimes more like 110 is a, yeah, a fair fight with this 107. It's, it's kind of how we made that right. uh, that rationale. Now let me ask you a, a, like a question, one? Sarah. Okay. What does a weeder taste like? It's really hard to describe what a weeder tastes like because I think people would off the top of their heads think like, are you gonna describe wheat? And it's really less of, the, it's the absence of the rye yeah. that is the mm -hmm. important thing because we are gonna get, like I think you would think we're gonna describe wheat, but really we're gonna describe corn. The absence um, of the rye. It's the, the sweetness, sweetness of the corn. Right, and yeah. the, like the lack of an aggressive spice or mintiness or anything like that. I, um, I think the people out there who have made this thing so crazy in popularity are gonna say, well, wheaters, they're smooth. Smooth and not, it's, well, it's it's the Pappy Van Winkle mash bill, okay? Made a Buffalo Trace. It's the same mash bill as Pappy and WLW, BTAC, you know? Um, so, but nature versus nurture, right? So, right. Some come into play. So there's many reasons why this is popular, um, but Weeded is a less used mash bill. Ergo, it's more rare. Vis-a-vis, -vis, <laughs> it's more sought after. Find another way to say it. Uh, he can't. Dang it, I can't. No. Nope. Shoot. Mm -mm. Well, I think that because of the lack of the rye and the lack of the spice, people, you know, weeders can come across as sweeter and softer. They're not as aggressive on the palate, which I think in, is often construed as smooth. Smooth isn't a flavor note. He's not listening to me at all, but at least you're here. Um, weeders, profile, I heard you. I was still trying to think of a thing and I can't. I just don't um, think. I don't think that we can say that all weeders taste like X. Like they no, you have can't, because this also corn. I mean, I guess. Well, so mash bill wise, the amount of wheat that is in there. I mean, more wheat means less less corn, uh, and it's as we said, 
we're good. <laughs> it's really the sweetness of the corn. Then also proof has a lot to do with it, and uh, the Agreed. age, and and the distillery. Right, the influence uh, of the barrel. Where it stays in the warehouse, so and many how things. Long. Yes, there's a lot, so you can't all say that, that weeders taste the same. No, but all that to say, does this taste like a weeder? It does because of the corn forward sweetness. But I see where I could, where someone who thinks it doesn't, um, the finish is kind of spicy yep. and warm and mm -hmm. it settles in much like, like it goes to the back of your mouth in a way that ryes typically do, which is I think why this kind of stumps people in blinds. Let's, let's do an analogy. Both of these are vehicles. One of them is a truck and the other one is a sedan. They're both vehicles. They both get you from point A to point B. So they're in the category of vehicle, but the subcategory is different, even though they're <laughs> even though they're both weeded mash bills. Mm -hmm. I feel like this one is a little silkier. More of a luxury car. More of the luxury car. Uh, and this Rebel is a workhorse. It's an F-150. You know, it's 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 your truck. It's it is a weeder, but it's got a few more rough edges. But one that I can one that I can appreciate. Like you take this off road because it's got those rough edges where you wouldn't take this one off road. I don't know. I Have I lost following. everyone? The more I go back to the Rebel, the more I'm liking it. I agree. Back to back, I think the Weller is a little bit more refined and. Again, I think it has more complexity. There are notes of, like, whereas I'm getting mostly corn here and some earthiness, I'm definitely getting more layers of flavor with like spice and more vanilla fruit. and yep. some fruit. Mm -hmm. And like, there's just more stuff at play. I think it has a little bit of a longer finish, whereas I think this one kind of ends on a hot, warm note that kind of just sticks. Mm -hmm. This one's more of like a wash over you type of experience. Agreed. So here's, yeah, here's what kind of I was hoping this would end with. If you can't find this, this is a good substitute. I don't think the Rebel is a substitute for this particular weeder. Mm -mm. They're in different ballparks. Agreed. Dif yeah, the different handling, right? Different like handling. Said, different Sports vehicles. car, truck. Different handling. You're not gonna get the same handling with the Rebel. So you can't say, oh, I can't find Weller 107. Just get Rebel 100. It's not the same. And you'll be, and you'll be saying, it's not. However, I don't wanna discount the Rebel 100, because I feel like it is a very good value. So, let's do this. Taste alone, taste alone, recommend, put your hand on it in three, two, one, okay. Based on taste alone. Taste alone. Based on price, availability, chaseability, you know, effort to find it on these, after three, three, two, one. Okay. Right. <laughs> This is the value, obviously, yes. of the two. And I like them both, but it's like you said, it's not a, it's not a natural progression. They're yeah. in different categories. Yes. So I think, I mean, and this one's kind of a no brainer. I hate to use this one because it's like, they're the same distillery, so the step up makes sense. But when people say, oh, if you're not ready to buy a Pikesville rye yet, just get a Rittenhouse rye. Because it's, you know, a little bit lower proof, but they have the same mash bill and they're in the same family. Less price. Blah, blah, blah. That makes sense because they're at the same distillery, they're the same mash bill. Mm -hmm. They're basically, you know, one's the, their brothers or something, cousins, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. These are not even in the same family. But will they blend? So if it's not the rebel that's the step below, this guy, what is? I mean, obviously Weller Special Reserve is, but that doesn't help because it's it also not really available. Could maybe be the Rebel Tenure. Oh, okay. Which is more expensive, it is. but also hard to find, so. Well, more expensive, <laughs> but less expensive Depend when you're talking about some secondary. secondary. Yeah, they do blend. Oh, well, anyway. Now, is it better, so some better than the parts? Mm, I don't know, but Let me see. it's not bad. I guess I would want to know what what do you guys think? Do you have a theory on what if you can't get Weller Special Reserve or not Weller Special Reserve, but Weller uh, Antique? What what would you recommend mm -hmm. getting? Do you have a suggestion? And if you've made it this far in this in this video, go ahead and put down in the comments, "Got any Wellers?" Because that's what we hear so often at liquor stores. Y'all y'all got any Wellers? 
They always say Wellers. It Can't drives me it crazy. But it's put fine. you you got any Wellers down in the comments if you made it this far, and only the people who have made it this far in the video will get that. See, it's but like, you're only it's hurting. like a little club. Uh, but that's where we'll leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, come on over. The bourbon is fine. You can click right up here to do so. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Ooh.